Julie, welcome back. Thank you. Give us one strategy for winning real estate in a competitive market. Consider dropping your financing contingency. What does that mean exactly? Well, when we say contingencies, we mean the conditions that must be met in order to hold all of the parties to the deal. So if a deal is contingent on financing, it means that the buyer can walk away from the deal without risking their contract deposit if the bank decides not to lend. Why is this a top strategy? Well, because sellers like a sure thing, and the surest thing is cash, and you could be up against that, and dropping your financing contingency might actually get you in the game against a cash deal, and it's certainly going to make you more competitive than the offers with financing contingencies. But is this risky for the buyer? It's definitely a strategy to weigh with your team, meaning your broker, your lender, your attorney, before you even start your buying process, not the night before you're about to put in a big offer when your emotions are high. And there are some ways to mitigate the risks. Okay, can you give us examples? You could potentially have your lender put your loan application through the underwriting process so you can make sure there are no issues in your financial profile that could prevent the bank from lending. You could also have your lender vet the building once identified um, to be sure there are no building issues that could prevent the loan. Like what? But this is in short, Tom. Right, yes. <laughs> but please feel free to reach out to us if you have additional questions.